Hi, this is Mike from Dynamic Point. Today we'll be looking at our Office 365 based SharePoint customer portal product. All right, so the portal app. The portal app is structured such it is built entirely within the Office 365 framework. We're using this uh, concept that's being introduced by Microsoft of a SharePoint portal, sometimes referred to as extranet, sometimes referred to as B2B sharing. Um, they all sort of represent the same concept and then I'm going to bring um, external parties, including my customers, into the SharePoint portal where I could begin collaborating with them on such things as files, uh, videos, other types of data. What our app adds to the picture, the Dynamic Point app, is gives us also the ability to hook up to ERP and CRM information. In addition, we have various Office 365 tools, including Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate Forms, they give us the ability to extend this portal to include such things as workflow as well as just general business automation. The objectives of creating a portal, um, they're really all over the place and the way the portal is architected is that I can connect to virtually any of the data that resides within the ERP application. In this case, we'll be looking at Business Central. Um, but here's some typical use cases, managing company information, sharing contact, contracts and agreements, order entry, payment processing, inventory, uh, as well as help desk. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here's my customer portal. Again, Office 365 SharePoint based portal. Um, our app has been added to this site. The site look and feel is entirely up to you, but I have a few um, things called out here as far as calls to action, ability to see my own orders, create new orders, invoices, returns, service cases, contracts, managing my company information. I also have an integrated Power BI dashboard, so I'm showing specific information for the authenticated customer, as well as some documents and events. If I click on any of these, it's actually retrieving the information directly from um, Business Central using the web services and the pages and exposing that in the portal for the authenticated user. So the data is also being filtered as well. Any of the data I could, of course, drill into, any of the columns that you see is configurable, uh, entirely up to you. Um, so this is looking at sales orders. I could drill into the order status, look at the shipment details, the pricing, things like that. If I click the print button, it's actually going to call the underlying report directly from um, Business Central and render that in the portal as a PDF. So that's sales orders. If I go into that same one, I have this one just configured a little bit differently here. I have the ability to do creation as well as edit information on those orders. So maybe I want to order, uh, edit orders that are not fulfilled yet, change such, such things as the shipping or the bill to information or place new ones, of course. Invoices, this is an interesting one. I have payment processing associated to this. The payment processing is using market leading um, payment processors such as PayPal and Stripe. This one, if I click pay, it's actually going to pass the payment details to the Stripe interface such that I could accept credit card or ACH information um, directly in the portal. If I go look at service orders and return, same idea on each of those, the ability to look at that data as well as create or potentially edit transactions directly coming from Business Central. Contracts, we'll go into uh, manage my company information. If I drill into this one, I have the balance that I'm showing for the customer as well as the ability to print a customer statement. Again, these are all just examples, really anything is possible as far as what you want to collaborate on with your customers. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. We'll go ahead and finish it off with a couple slides here. Um, again, the intent of the portal is that data sharing as well as collaboration on reports. Um, moving upstream, I could begin introducing workflows as well as using Office 365 technology to do business automation, such things as contract renewals or maybe con customer onboarding. Um, I could automate those processes using this framework provided by the portal. Um, again, various applications. We have customers using it for sales and distribution. We have customers using it to collect um, customer information and ACH data. Um, we have distribution portals that are being used for ship dates and unpaid invoices and packing slips, as well as service cases and equipment, contracts, things like that. Here's a little bit more reading from Microsoft. Again, this is a um, concept being provided uh, using their concept of B2B sharing, sometimes referred to as external users. So there's some more documentation here that you could read about the concept. And thank you so much for taking the time. Appreciate it.